Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm righting some wrongs. The last time I walked along here, it was a complete whiteout, couldn't see anything. So I'm hoping to bring you some lovely views this time. And the last time I was out, out, I got absolutely mullered by the weather. So fingers crossed, this is more of an aesthetic one. I know that the hardships and the rain and the wind, people like tuning in for them because it makes a good thumbnail and it's all whatever but where does it end keeping in a tesco bag on top of ben nevis during a storm the weather's been doing all sorts today so i can only just cross my fingers and hope we get lucky we might get piss wet through we might get beautiful sunsets and starry skies let's find out bit of a scramble up it's a steep one straight out of the gates it's pretty steep and scrambly This is different in it to last time. There's hardly a breath of wind. Sun keeps poking its head out. Hopefully it's gonna be a calm evening with plenty of stars. But we're up high and we're in the UK, so <laughs> you, we could always just cut to me with tent dragging me along top at mountain in a gale. You don't know what's going to happen, but so far, so good. Look at this, man. <laughs> Views. For any regular watchers, you'll know I did like a winter hike up over the over Scarfell, Great Gable. It was a multi-day, quite a beast. But as soon as I got to Great Gable, it was just a white out. The Great Gable's this big mound over there. It was just a white out, so all these views were just <laughs> cloudy. So it is nice to be able to bring you it on a lovely clear day. Whee! I wouldn't mind topping out on Great Gable without the pea soup so that I can get the views so I think I'm gonna go do that it rusty there is no latch on it but that spring does a job keeps it closed and you've got your views if you like your gates and your locks, you can follow latch and locks here. It's not a joke. There is loads of people that follow latch and locks that don't even follow my accounts or know that I do it. And they're just there purely for the love of the latch and locks. So I, lo I love it. Go and have a look. It's funny, mate. It's funny, but it's not funny. It's serious. Going up there. The absolute antithesis of last, the last video where I was getting brutalised by the, by the elements. And now it's ever so calm. And I was saying on that last video that if life's kicking your ass, kick your own ass harder. Uh, and that worked for me at the time, but we're all very different. And today I'm feeling like if life's kicking your ass, be kind to yourself, do things that are good. So if you're coming here for advice on the noodle and stuff, then I can't, it's just all over the place. I don't even know my own thoughts at times because one minute I'm like, yeah, kick your ass, kick your own ass into shape. Next minute, be kind to yourself. That's life though, isn't it? the rich tapestry of life. If every time you found life hard, <laughs> you just went and camped out in rain or went and just did something mad, real difficult, kicked your ass, it could be problematic. It's just every now and again, 
when your engine's fully depleted you need to you need to have a bit of a kickstart and that's that some people and me sometimes respond better to just being calm and kind to yourself you gotta figure out what works best for you and today this is what works best for me windy gap yeah it's windy and it's a gap there we have it windy gap Too bad, is it? Things have got quite scrambly. You soon get found out if you're not, if you haven't got a base level of fitness. You're getting found out up here. That's a fact. I'm getting found out. <laughs> wow, and look how much there's to go. It's huge. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Never be afraid to take a knee. See you later. Busy as always, but this is it, the summit of Great Gable. Wonderful views out to the Irish Sea, Scarfell Pike. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's busy, but it's a Saturday, so it's gonna be busy, isn't it? It's one of the popular ones. Buzzing to be able to finally top out when I can actually see. I'm going to hang out up here for a little bit and then go find somewhere to pitch my tent. Stunning, mate. Stun DMC. <sighs> Look at this. This is what it was. And I just came through here and I couldn't see. My hand in front of my face for a lot of it. Oh mate, why do I get so emo when I'm out and about? Tying all my little adventures together and that. <laughs> I don't know. I knew I do know actually. Following following in footsteps of people that have come before me who I respect and love. And realising that this is my time and it is finite and one day I won't be able to do this. For one reason or another. I'll eventually have my last time in the mountains. This could be it. I could shit myself up way back down and game over. But <laughs> I sometimes I just get aware I'm aware of it when I'm out here. It does wash over me every now and again. That like that that, that I'm lucky to be living in this part of my life where I can enjoy this happy and healthy up in the mountains. Don't take it for granted, and I'm grateful for it. And I'm a soppy bollock. <laughs> Big soppy bollock. Yeah. Right, I've got a can of Wainwright to get down my chops, and I would like to do it somewhere beautiful. New boots, who dis? My last trip was the last trip for my Lauer Renegades. They'd all, they'd, they'd come to, they'd got, they'd got holes in front, they'd come apart on the front seams. I'd had them years. The, the grip had all gone at the bottom of them, so oid them in bin, and I've had my eye on a pair of these for a long time, and I thought, you know what, I'll just get some, because they'll last me years, and I got some Altbergs. Been on an adventure with Fern in the Peak District for a week or so, and had them out there. There's a full video of that, actually. It's uh, Patreon only, because it, it, it's a bit all over the place, so really not for the main channel, but... Um, if you're one of the patrons, you can check that out over there. Or if you want to support over on Patreon, there's the Peak District hiking and 
foraging video with me and Fern over there, but I tested out my new boots and they've not given me blisters at all yet. Normally these sort of rugged numbers take some wearing in, but straight off the bat, they're nice. No blisters, no hot spots. Added bonus for being a Yorkshire boot. What's your name? Barry. Good to meet you, man. So wa awesome. Wave to yourself in the future. <laughs> there it is. Man. All right, mate, right, take man. it easy. Thanks for stopping, mate, and saying hello. Right, back on it. Windy Gap. Got about an hour's worth of uh, daylight left. We should give me enough time to get up another here and then find somewhere on this side where I can pitch the wigwam. Ah. It's all right, innit? It's not a multi-day hike. We can burn ourselves out. Rudimentary shelter. If it really kicked off, you could just hunker in there. Ain't it bonny? Woof. Peaceful over this side. This is where we're going to pitch up down here somewhere, I think, in this. Somewhere amongst all this. This is where we've come. Stunning evening. It's good to feel a bit gassed out. Bit of a bead on, good to get some mountain miles on the boots. And I'm ready, ready for a slurp and something to eat and to get the wigwam set up. I think this is gonna be my spot. It's a bit <laughs> all of it shop. There are a few rocks, but I'm sure I'll be able to snake my way around them and just find a decent bit. And look at the views. Isn't that special? Spot on me. Might be can time actually. Can time. Can I get in here? Is it wet? It's all wet, isn't it? Never mind. Get in. <laughs> yeah. Very apt. As we look over Buttermere and Haystacks. Out into the Irish Sea. As the sun goes down. Oh my god, I felt a bit of rain quick. It's a golden beer. I'm gonna share it with you. Oh my goodness gracious me. I know it's a good pint because I've had lots of it on. It's very good. He wants it like in a can though, never had it out of a can. Oh, that's good. Absent friends. And cheers to everyone for watching. I just wanted to say thanks for the support from everyone. Like, I know I'm shy at uploading. I don't do it regularly enough. Like, the last video, I went a month without putting out out. I just thought, yeah, I just couldn't do it, mate. So, I'm a bit irregular with the uploads, but I do appreciate 
everyone who watches and comments and interacts, likes the videos. Whoa. On the subject of raffles, got one going at the moment. It's a whopper. I'm not going to go into it too much, but it's for a brand new Hilleberg Sulu red label. I'll leave the details below here. It's just £2.50 a ticket. There are uh, discount bundles as well. And the winner will be drawn in a couple of weeks. And if you're local to me, I'll come and deliver it to you in person, providing you don't murder me. Try and be consistent. It's just winter, isn't it? Winter's a tough one. Hey, it's raining. Actually raining. Look at this. Look at that. It's stunning, isn't it? But enough of that beautiful sunset. You can stare at my mug. <laughs> get out. I should get in the tent really because it's pissing it, but I don't, I don't want to look. This is quality. After that last camp I had where it was just wet and I was tent bound, this is it. I think I'll go watch the rest of that from the boudoir. The ground's a little bit uneven, so I'm going to use me. Um, gas can stabilizing unit sorry for it uh, to everyone who's watched before because i don't a lot of my stuff is always the same stuff <laughs> the soto hey up what's happening here? the soto windmaster stove tox titanium 500 mil pot clean canteen get the lid on help it boil faster Uh, for this trip we've got salmon and broccoli pasta oh look at that little pouch is right at the top someone in the comments said these aren't actually poisonous and you can eat them so you do <laughs> you do you mate but i'll give it a swerve let me out though what does it say it says bayek it's grand yorkshire it's a big tea cosy of a thing and a fern made it, fern knitted it for me for Christmas it's a bit of a big tea cosy but out here when you just look I just thought I'd wear it just got to give it at least one go out and I yeah it looks a bit bonks but there you go so thanks fern I do wear it when no one can see me Here we go. We we're boiled. Good times. Good times indeed. Right now we're trying not to scoiled ourselves whilst we check what letter B is B. Wrap this up a couple of times because I have been caught out by this before and scoiled it myself and my leg. Not this time. Get all them crusty dusters down from in the bottom corners. No one needs that. Oh yes, man. It says eight minutes, but we're like, we're gonna leave it a little bit longer. Cause it's gonna be warming my organs up. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> come on. On your belly before it goes in your belly. Nailed it. Mouth watering. Sea to summit. Salmon and broccoli pasta. Yes, please. I won't show you because whatever. Mm. It's they're just good. Look at that big chunk of salmon. Mm. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Exquisite. As much as I'd like to sit here with this light in my eye and try and uh, eat in front of a load of strangers. <laughs> I'm going to turn you off. And then audiobook in bed. That's me. For the evening fingers crossed let's have a look it was it started raining it was pretty shit 
I'll keep my eyes out anyway. And if some stars come out, I'll try and film a few. But uh, for now, I'm just going to enjoy my tea. Bye. It was a blustery one last night, like the moon, El Munio, look over there, mint. And the sun should be poking its head up over there soon, so oh. it's about six o'clock, something like that. I'm gonna get squared away and um, make my way to the other side of that and see if we can get a sunset so let's go the laser compact as performed brilliantly there's a lot of guy out points that's what gives it its stability wind picked up got a bit blustery last night but felt very safe it holds its shape very well it's wonderful stuff Ooh. <laughs> El Moon still look popping its head up as you see. La Moon. There's gonna be a sunrise over there. Whoa. So we'll get this squared away and get over hill and see if we can catch it. So I've tied one of my guy lines to my backpack while I'm packing it away because it's quite blustery. And if it goes, it'll be an expensive bit of litter. So I've tied a bit to my backpack and that way it won't go anywhere. Top tip. Leave no trace as always. Wonderful little pitch that. Just woke up a couple of times with the wind being a bit savage. I didn't have any earplugs, so that woke me up a couple of times. I was just like assessing the situation, whether it was, you know, whether the tent was safe and stuff, but it held really well. And I just drifted back off knowing that it was, uh, nice and secure didn't set my alarm I get up early anyway and I'm off to the other side to hopefully bring you a and to me a sunrise oh, I needed this mate <laughs> feeling good I've said it before but the best thing about camping and sleeping outside and stuff is waking up outside it's the mornings, they're absolutely splendid. Right, let's get down here out of wind. Is that a good bit? Yeah, that's a good bit. <laughs> yeah, out the wind a bit. Oh. So I'm going to get a coffee on and watch the beginning of the day. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Tailors of Harrogate. Harrogate, no less. I've snapped it on, I haven't, there it is. And I've got my AeroPress. For those of you that uh, 
don't know what this is i've never seen one before i've done a full video on it i'll leave that there um i do realize that a lot of the time i point there and say i'll leave that there and then in editing i forget to put it there so if there's nothing there sorry if there is i've been on it and i've sorted it out the aero press it makes a wonderful brew Ooh. it's windy but this is why they call it the the soto Windmaster. let's have it on full full Penk. full beans right so you have to do this little black thing perforated black thing with holes in it and then i've got some of these which are the um the filters take a filter pop it in to the bottom of our percolate uh, bottom of our doohickey and then there's a this is two bits you see there you go the plunger that goes on the bottom so you've got your filter in there and it'll pour through there so you put your coffee and your hot water in there you've got your little things for how many spoons and how many how strong it is and stuff you put your water and your coffee in there and then we plunge it and it sort of comes from percolates through there or does percolate go up i'm not sure but it it filters the coffee through there into here and you you've got yourself a wonderful coffee is that going for it no not yet it's nearly there it's nearly there tailors of farrogate so i'm gonna do one two i want to do three get really raged up on it that's boiling turn that off pot goes down it's all a bit uneven this goes on the top you don't need to push you just like rest your hand on it a little bit of force nothing too rambunctious and it'll just go through you hear a little hiss there it is that means she's done better if you want to be in with a chance to win the hilliburg sulu i'll leave a link downstairs uh, feel free to check that out but that's it from me it's been a beaut i'm smiling i'm beaming what a contrast from last time's adventure i actually got some views <laughs> oh, right look after your little tickers and your noodles I love you all and I'll see you soon.